There's certain teams that are amazing and often tortured sporting past in this great city where you just know they're going to dominate. You just know it. Mm -hmm. The 86 Giants, the 86 Mets, the 98 Yankees, a couple other teams, obviously. Then there's a couple of teams that emerge from the weeds, and it's a combination of, you know, timing a little serendipitous, maybe a little overachievement, some crazy plays, the 07 Giants. Mm -hmm. And there's a team, then there's teams like the Rangers right now, and we don't really know what to expect because the Rangers, after these wild, wacky 10 days that we just sat through, became the first team in NHL history to have three, listen to this number, three straight comeback wins in elimination games uh, ever in the history of the NHL. So do we think they're better than the Canes? I don't. Does it matter? With this team, it might not. Wow. Yeah. No, look, this team was so good during the regular season. The postseason is a different level of play. We know this in every sport. You get the football, it's more intense. The stakes are higher. You get the baseball, you know, you get a, you shorter rotations. It's It just becomes different. More in basketball, they actually play defense a little bit uh, once you get to the postseason. Except the Suns. Except for what the it matters. Suns. Oh, my Lord. Can we stop talking about Chris Paul now? They scored 27 points. I turned that game on. I was like, they have 27 points? That can't be the min- end of the third quarter. It was. Yes. Luka had 30. They had 27. Anyways. Uh, but the, the postseason sports gets really intense. And this Rangers team, is out, as you watched him, every game it was like, all right, down 0-2, uh, two, down two, <laughs> two goals, uh, and then they have to fight their way back into it. This team is flawed, right? They didn't win faceoffs. They started to win them this game. They yes. turned the ball over uh, in the neutral zone. They they don't play physical, so they let these more technical teams uh, get after. They, they, they give up way too many shots uh, to Igor Shosturkin, and they don't have nearly enough of them so in order for them to go far, to beat Carolina, who who they've given up 14 goals to uh, in the regular season, they're one and three against the Carolina Panthers. They are going to need Igor Shosturkin to be his greatest imitation of Lundqvist. That's the only way this team goes forward because they're flawed. Like they're they're gritty and they're awesome and they're fun and they like the energy in the garden last night. I mean, oh it had gosh. to be unreal. Oh. But they're flawed. Like they need someone to be that catalyst. Mm-hmm. Should it, could it be Panarin? Short sure, should be right. He had ninety six points in the regular season, but he was flawed in the postseason until overtime in this uh, in, in this game seven. So. It's they're interesting because you don't have faith in them, but you kind of believe that they're going to do it. It's just an odd team to 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 root for and to have energy for. I, I, th- I think you said Panthers. Obviously, you mean the Canes. I, I, mean, I got you. Yes. Uh, by the way, the schedule's out. So game one is Wednesday. Uh, watch the post game show. Those guys do a really nice job on MSG. Mm-hmm. They really do. I mean, Lundquist is is measured in terms of volume, but profound. Yes, uh, and really on the money. Uh, anyway, Wednesday's game one, Friday's game two, then it's Sunday and Tuesday at the Garden, then we'll see what happens if necessary. Thursday, Saturday, Monday, times to be determined at Carolina, and then obviously you're going to mix it up a little bit there. But I, I tell you, I uh, they're, they're, the swings and emotions in this series, just incredible. I mean, one time you go from preparing the tombstone for the Rangers to, like, you just gave birth. It's like the complete antithesis of emotions. You couldn't have... A greater flip. Yeah. Uh, giving up a shorthanded goal. Uh, I mean, just, you know, falling behind again. And then hammering one home with, what, was about five minutes to go in the game. Then you got to, I'll tell you what, the the hardest thing for me. Now, I've always been up front with our audience. Same with you. Mm-hmm. You know, I like hockey. I liked hotly. I actually really liked hockey growing up. Played in the street a ton. Know a little bit more historically than than I probably let on, but I'm a basketball guy. I'm a baseball guy. I'm a football guy. All right, and I'm a golf guy. But if I was as devout a hockey fan, so I'm not trying to front, yeah. and like disrespect the real devout great hockey fans. That's you, and you earn it. And I'm just parachuting in like a lot of people do, right? And it, but but if I had that fervor for hockey, like I've got for the other sports, 
I don't know how I'd sit through an intermission <laughs> in, in one of these critical games. Yeah. Like the intermission to me is torture. It feels so long. If you too, are by a the devout way. hockey it fan. It feels so long, too. Oh, my uh, goodness. I mean, they, they get, the players got their pads off. They're, they're doing interviews. Yes. They're just chilling. Hey, smoke if you got them. I oh, mean, man. But I guess, I mean, you have to do it. The intensity of a, of a, of a period in hockey is just, it's ridiculous. It's, I get it's it. constant, it's nonstop. Uh, you know, the, it's it's you know, the shift change. It's it's amazing to watch these guys, um, you know, go through what they go through. But you're right. The intermission feels long as hell. Ugh. Then if you lose, like, the first face-off, the first shot that's fired at your goalie. <laughs> and, and it's so hard to even tell from TV. So, that, well, I mean, you, you know what it hits the crossbar or, yeah. or the pipes. But it is uh, it is a watch that is that will wreck your emotions. No. I mean, Hoff walked in today. Hoff sounds like he was on a – and he wasn't. Because he worked, he's got kids, he coached, he obviously is a crazy Rangers fan. Hoff sounds like he was on a five-day bender. Hoff, how are you feeling today, uh, man? I, amazing, but if they lost last night, I don't know. if I, I probably wouldn't have shown up. It was <laughs> – I had – my kids were up because I, I was so into this game. Like, I we were so – we skipped out on a lot of other things to make sure that I was sitting at the couch at 7 o'clock to watch this game. Friday was great. We talked about Friday where we it did, was. We did. And it was great time. The hosts were fantastic. They had it on a big screen TV. But this – I had to be home. The kids were around me. They didn't want to go to bed. So I had Anthony and JD sitting next to me side by side when that game winner happened. It was crazy. But – there was a lot of f bombs going on prior to that. Oh, in front uh. of the kids! I can't control myself. There's nothing Ooh. I can do. Yeah, when no, you got I a high stick that. call from the fr- listen, the Rangers get screwed all the time. But when you have a clear high stick, yep. and the referees have overturned goals in the series already, and they don't overturn that. Yeah, but hold come on, on a second. I got to be honest. The that the the two different camera angles. I, I wonder what Boomer said on this. Were very confusing to me. Mm-hmm. The first angle. I'm like, oh, that, that's clearly above the yes. above the crossbar. But you're going to have to reverse that. But the problem was that was the low angle. Yes. It's and the, then the other angle, I'm like, oh, that might be a goal. But that was also the high angle. Well, that's why you had to make the call, <laughs> and then you needed the enough overwhelming evidence. So screw the Rangers again. That's yeah. what they do. I screw mean, the Rangers. No, I got you. It happens a lot. We know that historically. Need, but you know what? Screw everybody else because we're playing. They're not. Go. Exactly. We're going for it. <laughs> Maybe they need to get the, you know how they have the pylon cam of uh-huh. the NFL? They need to get the the uh, the, the crossbar the, cam. The, the crossbar cam. Let's so do you it. have one at the top, one at the bottom. You just know. It makes they it need easy. to put it on the puck. That's what they need to do. They need to put one at a three sixty. Yeah, but on the that puck. doesn't. But that doesn't help you in this no. in this uh, in the high stick. And, and, and um, no, nothing helps. Nothing. They, whatever. No matter what, the refs will find a way to screw the Rangers. That's what it comes down to. But listen, resilience. They oh, came absolutely. back. Well, and that's the whole point of this team, man. I mean, it's absolutely. We, we don't know where the next ten days takes us. I mean, mm-hmm. this could be four one canes. This could be another riveting crazy ride. Strap in. That's what you want. I mean, yeah. this is what you live for as a sports fan. Where. You have an, an element of overachievement during the regular season. And, I, and listen, and not to bring the Knicks into it, but think about if the Knicks would have beaten the Hawks a year ago. Like the way oh, the Knicks had this unexpectedly uh, unexpected surge in the regular season. Things are going well. Oh, wow, you win a playoff series. Here we go deep in you know, round two. It's to me, and I've said this for a long time, not everybody agrees. I get it because the ultimate pursuit's the championship. But, Teak, you've heard me say this a lot. For me as a sports fan – The most rewarding aspect of fandom, I understand literally it's when you win a championship. I get that. But the formative stage, the slow ascent, Mm -hmm. when you you establish the foundation, God, it's galvanizing. It's amazing. Yeah, no, what what makes it that way is you feel ownership. To the to the to the guys, right? It's, some of them are, you know, they they came in, they weren't organic, but it, it almost doesn't matter if they're helping you advance in the postseason and potentially win a championship. Oh, absolutely! And a lot of those '94 Rangers were brought in. That's exactly right. Yeah, so, Boca Boom. Yeah, I mean, I mean, um, it doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, uh, McTavish. I mean, think about some of these guys they had on the team. They play, everybody played everywhere. That's right. And so if you if they're if you're winning a championship, then it doesn't matter where you came from. It's true. Whereas you know. If you're not, it's like, all right, well, when's this young kid going to develop? You know, when's he going to turn and, you know, help turn this team into a championship contender? So it's winning cures so much because, like I said, BT, this team is flawed. You look at them and you watch them and it's like, oh, again, I mean, how many shots? Are you guys going to take a shot? You're going to give up how many? I know. Uh, uh, but just shoot the puck. Just shoot. The, but when you but when you win, it makes you forget all of that. Temporarily. Temporarily, you forget all of that. And that's why this, you know, today for Rangers fans and really last night was just, it feels electric, right? It it was improbable that they were going forward 
to take the take on the Hurricanes. Improbable, yet here they are. It's a good word. All right, 877-337-6666. Tiki and Tierney show inside the Town Fair Tire Studio. Hopefully you guys had a great weekend. I know we did. Busy. Game 7's everywhere up the wazoo. Our friends at Town Fair Tire remind you that at Town Fair, you always get the guaranteed lowest price on name brand tires from Connecticut to Maine. Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody Cortez is still flowing. Cole was really good. Yanks are rocking. Mets have maybe the first point of the season where there's a little angst is strong, but some injuries. Mm. You lose your first series. We'll do a lot of baseball, obviously, later in, a little later in the show. Yeah. Did you watch the – I know Hoff was rocking with MSG, which I did every night of the series until last night. Uh, I, and I I saw the overtime winner on MSG. Yep. But I watched, was it TNT or TB? I guess it was TBS. TBS. It was TBS. TBS, yes. They do a nice job. They they really do. I like how they put up that little circle on the miles per yeah. hour on the slap shot. Yeah. I like that. So, you know, I was down in Ohoopy, Georgia, playing Ohoopy. golf. Ohoopy. If you told me Ohoopy yes. was a third world country, <laughs> I would have been like, oh, you know, how are the uh, accommodations? You know, around, in, Ohoopy. And, in and around it, it is the onion capital of the world. We were competing with for the Ross Cup. Yeah. Uh, Ross Malloy, who is. Uh, you know, my boss over at CBS Sports, he does this every year. Um, and it, we had a, a hoopy golf course. It was amazing. We had a fun time. Nothing to do but play golf and hang out. How many rounds did you guys get in? We did 18 and then 28. 28? Because they have like this whiskey routing. It, it, you'd go and drink. It, it's hard oh, to explain. Wow. I'll explain it. But that, we, did, we did 18, 28, and then 18. Wow. So what a weekend. It, it, was, it was a lot. But anyways, we fly back. Yeah. Last night, and we get on CBS Charter or no? uh, Well, this it was this. uh, Did they charter a plane for you guys? Dan Englander, who was our host at Ohoopy, great dude. Uh, Me and Rondé, one o'clock in the morning, he's sitting there drinking. I was like, I can mess with you, Dan. Yeah, I saw that picture. (laughs) Right, so um, we get back at five on his plane, Mm -hmm. and I'm like, man, I'm not gonna get home. They're trying to go to the game. Ross is going to the game. Wally Zerbiak going to the game. Dan's going to the game. Bunch of a couple of guys going to the game. I'm just trying to get home now. We're in Islip, BT, on a Sunday afternoon, mm-hmm. trying to get home. I got I didn't get home till seven thirty. So how was I watching it? Thank God it wasn't on MSG because if it was on MSG, my Verizon TV app, you know, there's an app for your phone, yeah. where you can you know change the channel, you can see the schedule, mm-hmm. and some stations you can watch on your phone. MSG, I can't watch on my phone. Really? And so I was like, man, I'm going to miss the game. I'm not going to see the game. Well, you have TBS. You should have just said Tracy, DVR it. I, That's the option. She wasn't home. Oh, well, she wasn't then, home. She then had, you host. She I had, co- she had confirmations. And so I, so I go to MSG. And it's like, dude, it's not on MSG. Where's the game? So I end up having to search for it. It's on TBS. TBS works on my phone. So I could watch it in the car while I'm sitting in standstill traffic on the LIE until I finally got home. Oh, my God. So that's how I watch the game, BT. Well, do we get a um, – do we get this – or I was going to say this moment, but it's moments. Yeah. From Shesterkin moving, like moving forward, they've got to play better in front of him. Yeah. It's not fair what they're asking him to do. It's he not. has been phenomenal. He's, he's been absolutely. But was, you can't keep this up there forever. There was a flurry in the f- at end of the first, maybe it was early second period, where there was just shot after shot after shot. And the Penguins do such a good do- job of just throwing extra shots on goal, and he's always got to be ready. And I, I said it before, but if he's not Lundqvist, he's got to be Lundqvist, and it's a lot to put on a 26-year-old oh, God, kid. I hate, the, I hate that you're saying this, but you're not wrong. He's got to be but that I guy. But I hate that you're saying because this. They, they because it was unfair to Lundqvist. They're not, they're not playing well enough around him to, for him not to be. He's got to be great, oh. and that's a lot to put on him. But I, I mean, look what you're can, saying. Can he do it? Yes, of course he can. Yeah, that's like saying that he, like, that's like it? saying Cortez has to be petted. But you know in what? The playoffs. But you like, know, come on. But by the way, the way that Nestor Cortez is pitching, yep. are you are you unsure that he actually could do that? Oh, I need to see a lot. I mean, right? he's been phenomenal. Maybe, but maybe, I need to see some more. Maybe you could do that. But here's the thing: he might start the All Star game. This kid, I know, he might start the All Star game. He's got a game one Cortez. three five ERA. Dude, he's he's sick. got fifty strikeouts already, and he works like all right. Get up, get your ass back in the box. I'm Good ready. Rhythm. I'm ready to throw a pitch. Right. So. But here's the here's the beauty of this for Shosturkin. There's this is an opportunity, and I don't know if you know, a lot of young players recognize like these, maybe even career. I say it's, it's too, it's maybe it's too profound to say career defining, 
but because he's so young, he's only 26 years old. He's got a decade of of, good, of hockey in front of him. But it, if if a young man can recognize this opportunity to make yourself a legend at 26, and Igor Shosturkin does that and recognizes it and understands, you know, the pressure that's that's there, the 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 glory that comes from uh, from what he's doing, be, you know, playing like Lundqvist, as we were kind of alluding to, then. I mean, he could be a legend, and, I mean, he's going to have to be the way you watch this Rangers team. He's going to have to be. Okay, 877-337-6666. The good news is even if he's not legendary in this series coming up, uh, there's enough evidence. First of all, he saw mm-hmm. the shortlist for the MVP. He's going to yep. win the Vesna. Uh, Ranger fans, I'm not telling you anything you don't know, but you think moving forward as he gets to his late 20s, early 30s, and clearly in his hockey prime, Rangers get a little more around him. You know that this is the guy that can obviously get you to a cup and hopefully win one for the first time since 94. All right, Vinny, Staten Island, let's hear it. What's happening, buddy? How are you, Vin? Good morning, guys. How are you? Hey, uh, Tiki. I was the same. I was in the same boat as you last night. I have Fubu. <laughs> I have the Fubu app. Yes. Did you know that MSG does not op- they, they do not update their schedule. They had their, they had something else on MSG guide, but the Rangers were on MSG. I saw they that, Vinny. That's why. Is that I, right? That's the only reason why I watch TBS. Oh, that's interesting. So yes. here's the, so here's, the, here's the thing, Vinny. I even if it was on, I tried to click on MSG. It said. You're out of your home, whatever network. Oh, you, okay. you, you can't watch it. So, I mean, it, well, thankfully, it was on TBS. Well, I I, I do stream because I I do work for Verizon. The cable company is like so expensive, so I do stream. But with the way it was, MSG already had the Rangers out of the playoffs by the time Sunday. Oh, that's came. jacked up. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. now see, I see what you're saying. You, <laughs> you don't see the Penguins <laughs> Rangers if necessary. So, but yeah, listen, Danny, you guys, you guys hit it on the head. Shostakin was amazing. He did give up a lot of crappy goals in games three and four at Pittsburgh. I guess yeah. he was just, you know, scared. It was the moment and everything like that. Well, I they said he was scared. Now, no, I think that's, was just, that's the right word. He was just off kilter, overwhelmed. Maybe yes, yes. not scared. Maybe yeah. okay. But here's the one thing I will say about uh, about this: they need to be better offensively. They need to they need to be more aggressive because now. This is where you make your money, especially if, let's say, you know, hopefully they get passed by Carolina. They got to play Tampa Bay mm-hmm. or Florida, better teams. This is where you have to present yourself to win the cup because these are the games you need to win. Pittsburgh showed them that's the blueprint. That's where you have to go through the, like the run to the playoffs. Yep. You have to be you have to be aggressive, and if they do that, they could probably stick around. If not, it's it could be a four or five game series. Yeah, you know, and you hate to even position it that way out of the shoot here, Vinny. But if the Rangers don't play significantly better, it could be a wrap quick. But that's a conversation for tomorrow and, and game one. If I don't know if you guys missed the schedule, I told you before it came out about an hour or so ago, Wednesday and Friday, games one and two in Carolina. We'll we'll get there as we get there. Right now, we're just having fun. Mm-hmm. Just an awesome. Awesome all time series. You're never going to forget this. It was crazy. 877 337 6666. 